Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, everyone loves Yoda. Sure, people mostly tend to go Gaga for Grogu these days, but remember that once upon a time, everyone called the Mandalorian's best character Baby Yoda, because this Star Wars species name is still a big mystery. That's a good point. You've given me a lot to think about. The original little green guy, voiced by the legendary Frank Oz, has made an appearance in all three of the Star Wars trilogies, and is one of the greatest creatures to ever wield the Force. During his design phase, however, there was a version of Yoda that wasn't as lovable as the final design ended up being. In a recently unearthed interview with creature creator Stuart Freeborn from July 1979, an original prototype puppet of Yoda was revealed, and he's one creepy-looking critter. The video that shows the prototype was found and posted by the 70s Sci-Fi Boy YouTube channel in January 2022. The video shows both the animatronic head design we know and love alongside the absolutely grotesque original version. The footage is a neat if somewhat unsettling look into the creation of one of pop culture's most popular puppets. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense, never for attack. Freeborn's original design for Yoda might have been a little creepy, but he would eventually refine it into something unforgettable. The special effects makeup master was already well known by the time he was hired to make movie magic for George Lucas. Directors would frequently come back to Freeborn, and he worked with some of the biggest names in genre cinema in the 1960s and 70s. Freeborn collaborated twice with director Stanley Kubrick, creating the ape-like ancestors for the Dawn of Man sequence in 2001 A Space Odyssey, and turning actor Peter Sellers into multiple characters for Doctor Strangelove. He also worked with Richard Donner repeatedly, making Christopher Reeve into the perfectly chiseled Kryptonian for Superman and designing the Devil's Spawn, Damien, for The Omen. In the world of Star Wars, Freeborn was responsible for not only creating everyone's favorite little green guy, but also the designs of the Ewoks, Chewbacca, and Jabba the Hutt. Look, Jabba, next time you want to talk to me, come see me yourself. While Yoda was only one of Freeborn's many creations, he was probably his most personal. The Empire Strikes Back director Irvin Kirshner would comment on just how much Yoda looked like Freeborn, with similarly inquisitive and mischievous elfin features. Freeborn even copied the wrinkles on his own forehead, carving them into the clay figure of Yoda that served as the character's original design. According to Freeborn, the only part of Yoda that wasn't modeled after some part of himself was the character's upper lip. That was based on famed scientist Albert Einstein so viewers might subconsciously assume Yoda's intelligence. Too bad most people only know Einstein with his trademark mustache, hiding his Yoda-like upper lip. The character of Yoda would go on to be one of the most famous and easily recognizable in the franchise, with his big ears and gentle eyes. Though the character dies in Star Wars Return of the Jedi, he would return for the prequel films in a younger form, and appear in the sequels as a Force ghost making him one of the few characters to appear in all three trilogies. Master Yoda. Young Skywalker. For people with a fear of puppets, the original Yoda puppet might be one of the creepiest creations ever made. Even if you aren't frightened by fabric faces, this guy is just pretty unsettling. One eye of the Yoda prototype is squinting as if the legendary Jedi is peering into the future, while the other is wide open, like he can also read everyone's thoughts. As Freeborn explains the character and the design, he continues moving his hand inside of the puppet's mouth ever so slightly, so it looks as if Yoda is sort of chatting along with him. He, he's quite a clever little fellow. He's 400 years old, and of course he has the power of the Force. There are plenty of terrifying and adorable creatures in Star Wars, ranging from the sneaky Jawas to the slug-like huts. But original Yoda might be the most terrifying of them all. Oh, sh Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite TV shows and movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.